Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to dive into one of my. This is these are my official psychoanalytical drawings that I do while having therapy, um, and um, this is really interesting. This was a, a real dilemma I had with with a relationship. Once again, we're going to focus on the structuralism of my videos, which is based on. A la Picasso, Pablo Picasso, the self-portrait with the model, a la Francis Bacon, the self-portrait with the model, and how do we come up with an active imagination drawing by by the great genius Carl Gustav Jung, um, a psychoanalyst, uh, and basically uh, how do we activate um, what we see, right? And when we see, especially in my arena, based on Niels Bohr's analysis on quantum mechanics, if we see, then we have the ability to perceive the behavior of quantum mechanics, okay? So if we see the behavior of the person through analysis, then we get more an idea of the personality traits of who are we dealing with. Freud said that there's three components to the mind of a person, right? So we're basically dealing with three different people. So if you look here in the navigation of this drawing, there's a drawing right here of the uh, model. Let's call her the model, the model, right? Let's call her the model, no names, just the model and the self-portrait, this is the model, and the room that she occupies. As you can see, she occupies the whole room, right? So that is uh, one of the stuff that we have to deal if we, if we look at the exciting uh, analysis and the discoveries of Freud, that we have the id, in Spanish would be called the yo, 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 me, it the ego right the ego and then we have that super ego so you're dealing with you're dealing with three people three persons and one to create what a synthesis of a person that you get to know you get to live with and then you realize that when the other personality traits come out that are hidden then you realize that that person and that room is not what you thought it was. It could happen six years, seven years, 10 years, five years, two years. To me, it happened 15 years. That, uh, but I, through these psychoanalytical drawings and the same book, and uh, some of these drawings took a year to make. I have a drawing that took over a year to make, one drawing. And going back and going back and going back. And there's where I was able to nail her. Um, lying, cheating, sneaking. She had a, not a triple life. She had a, a quadruple life or uh, seven lives. And they were all very shady. And very dangerous. So here we are. When you deal with someone, it takes a while these drawings, by practicing active imagination by the great genius, Carl Gustav Jung, lets you focus the mind. So every time you do a drawing, I start, my drawings are, while I'm doing therapy, they're, they're literally, um, they start with doodling, jotting down stuff. Sometimes I might go back and it doesn't even make sense, but it doesn't have to make sense. Life doesn't have to make sense sometimes. But if we look at things objectively, after we do something, then we might, it might all come together in a certain, what I call the slice of pizza, right? The slice of pizza. Oh, here it is. The slice of pizza down here. What a coincidence. Slice of pizza. That's the uh, Euclidean fifth postulate. Then you will find there your own geometric truth in your own slice of pizza. Okay? You find you. And you're going to have to deal with your ego. You're going to have to deal with your collective. You're going to have to deal with your subconscious mind. You're going to have to deal with the anima, which I deal in these uh, drawings because it's based on an anima. And anima's 
uh, equilibrium kind of uh, aesthetic resolution, then, of course, working the shadow, working all these displacements of conflict and pain, and then you start narrowing it down. And then what happens when you go through shadow, you find self. If you're able to go up there, up there and smash that ego and put yourself aside and all that self-importance, that super ego, all that self-importance, who you think you are, who you project to be and blah, 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 put it away and find your true self. And there, there will be right there, down there will be that archetype. And, you know, that's where the whole cycle, the whole cycle starts, the wheel of life. Thank you very much.